hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on the ruler tool in photoshop this tool is used to measure things so i would like to explain you the tool in detail so right now i've got this image and i'm in the move tool to access the ruler tool i need to click this eyedropper tool and hold it okay then you get a menu in that and then you need to choose the ruler tool okay so if you just uh, want to access this tool what you need to do is use a keyboard shortcut that is shift i and when i press the shift i it selects the existing tool in the eyedropper menu and when i press second time it cycles to the next uh, tool in that menu you keep pressing until you get the ruler tool there okay so this is the ruler tool we have got a ruler already created you can hit this clear button that will be disappearing that tool so we have the ruler tool the very simple thing to create is just click and drag it okay so what you have got is the ruler and uh, if you could able to see the use measurement scale i need to keep it off and then you should able to see the units of x and y so what is that units is if i right click here if i set it to the pixels you are able to see the units in the pixels there and if i put it to the inches that turns into the inches so i click and drag that point here and then put it to that corner okay so you are getting that uh, first points x position and y position in inches okay right now if i'm moving this to the top it shows the uh, almost zero zero thing i am not able to precisely place that but it's almost zero to zero of that position it's showing the coordinates of that point okay it's not showing the second point of this ruler okay so the second point is showing no effect here okay so whatever you are seeing here is also be seen in the info panel here you could able to see that so it's not affecting the uh, the coordinates are not affected by the second point's position if you click and drag the center one i mean uh, click in the center and drag it the whole ruler will go there i mean it it generally moves from there okay now you got the width and the height so from this point to this point I'll just move it for a better visibility. You should able to see from this point to this point is considered the width and from this point to this point, okay, is considered the height. So you got 20.833 width units and 4.111 of height units. Let me clear it and then click and drag by holding shift. I should be able to see the width is 20 units and the height is 0 because they are at the same points and uh, if I just click and drag vertically then you got the height whose measurement is 24 units and the width is 0 that's very important to understand okay when I click and drag okay you get three angles here one is the 0 degrees the 45 degrees and then keep 45 degrees of increment in any direction you are picking it okay so 45 degrees or 0 degrees are snapped here with the shift okay now that's how you start placing this point now if i just uh, click and drag it and then you should be able to see the angle is minus 45 degrees here so what is it uh, showing is uh, there is a horizontal line right so the angle here is minus 45 from the first point okay so if i click and drag like that okay now the angle is plus 45 degrees okay so that is showing up on the lower side and that's showing up on the top side now if i uh, click and drag from right to left okay again you're getting the degrees here my uh, 135 units so it is counting 0 90 and 135 okay now if i hold uh, drag it like that now it is showing minus 35 degrees uh, sorry minus 135 degrees in the lower side so that's how the angle is measured here and uh, the width is negative and uh, 
positive the based on on which side you are dragging let's say from left to right if i drag it gives me a positive value whereas when i do that from right to left it gives a negative value so from this point to that point it's counting negative units because you're going towards the zero or towards the uh, a negative side of the canvas and it happens very similarly with the vertical so when you're doing from up and up to down it's giving me the positive from down to the up it gives the negative values in the measurement okay that's how it is used now we have uh, the l1 measurement this is showing up to 22 units there if i hold alt you get the cursor changing okay to angle so i need to click and drag from there and it gives me a line and this is the second line and if I hold shift, it keeps rotating 45 degrees like that. Okay. I need to hit clear. I'm going to show that once again. I'll take the ruler, hold uh, click and hold shift. You got the straight line. Now you got alt, just click and then drag it. Now you're dragging, hold shift like that and you get the angle there so it's showing up 45 degrees angle from the first line to the second line okay just hit clear now remove the ruler now select the ruler and then drag it like that okay now hold alt and then drag it for the second line and that shows the angle of 142 degrees from first line to the second line here the first line measurement is 18.473 the second line which is l2 is 18.895 okay that's how it works right now i am in a different image here so i'm selecting the ruler tool and then just clicking there and then putting that line till that point okay it is showing me the 17 inches measurement i'll go to the image analysis set measurement and choose it to the custom okay so here the pixel length uh, one pixel is there and logical length is there so what i'm going to do is before going into that i use the measurement scale it is showing me 1231 pixels earlier it was showing me the measurement in the inches of that particular canvas okay or the document but when I say use measurement scale, it is giving me it in the pixels. Now, if I just choose the measurement custom, and now uh, I could say the pixels, okay, one, two, three, one pixels. Logical length, I'll put it to seven. Okay, so if you could able to see 1231 pixels of length is seven feet, okay. So that's what I'm telling here. Now if I drag this from this point to that point, okay, it shows uh, the units in uh, 4, 4 4.8 um, feet, okay. So this height is let's say 7 feet, the width is 4.8 feet here, okay. So I'm measuring with the um, logical relation here, okay. Uh, what I'm doing is basically 1231 pixels of information is 7 feet. Now this particular pixel count is calculated into the feet when I switch it on with the measurement scale option which is showing up minus 4.8 feet there. So that is how this option works here. Okay. And the next thing is uh, the straighten layer option. So this image is slightly cross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ruler and click from that point and and place it there. Now just hit this button called straighten layer and what happens you know the image rotates and you should be able to see some gap here okay. So it rotates like that and uh, can you able to fix that absolutely you can do that because there is no information. So you have certain gaps here to fix that I'm going to use a marquee selection tool and I just uh, tightly drag it through the selection I've used this marquee tool you could able to see that 
so if you are not uh, placed it correctly you can use the transform selection and then just try to place it so, uh, to the borders of this selection and then what you need to do is you need to select the layer and then make sure that you are in marquee selection right click and search for the fill option and then here just search for content aware and then say ok so that area will be filled automatically by this tool here ok uh, if the job is not done correctly make your hands dirty and then use any tool like clone stamp tool and fix things uh, for your requirement like that ok so that's how you can fix that